Hello. Hello! My name is Renal Chanel Mitchell. And my name is Sherelle Renee Mitchell. Welcome, Welcome to St. Vincent and, and the Grenadines. to visit this island again, a year after our last port call. During this time, because of the pandemic, we had to adapt the way we did things. For example, instead of sending our teams to visit churches and school in person, we held virtual Bible studies and mentored local Christians by video link. I am thankful that Logos Hope came to St. Vincent, even though they were not open to the public. We had our small group. We were able to share our testimonies and we were able to pray with and for each other. So it was a blessing. Instead of holding events on board, we use online platforms to broadcast live events from the ship. We decided to use the social media platform of Instagram to connect with the people around the world. So the title of our I Wonder video uh, for the week that I did it was about music and art. And we based it around uh, the idea that music and art is something to be practiced so that we can become better at it and that's with any skill as well and we then focused on how music and art can actually be a form of worship as well but also then we talked about the fact that worship is not just music and art but worship is actually a whole lifestyle that um, we should be doing everything unto God uh, our words and our actions uh, the way we serve people just to be used by God in that uh, was a real blessing for us. During our time on the island, it came time to say goodbye to some of our Logos Hope family and friends. And then we welcome new crew members with open arms. As COVID-19 hit St. Vincent, the need for face covering became urgent. Our crew was able to contribute to relief efforts initiated by the island's government by sewing and donating over 700 masks for school children. This has been a great project to get involved in because we could physically make something that could bless a person in a tangible way. And because we spent some time praying over the masks as we were making them, um, we really believe that this will be a blessing to the children. We also want them to know that when they receive the masks, that we care for them and we value them and we value the fact that they can now have a safe education. Our task here was to be Jesus' hands and feet as he presented opportunities to serve the community. One of the ways we could do this was by lending a hand to some Vincentians with their construction work. So over the last nine days, what we've been doing is um, basically doubling the size of Mr. Blackman's house here. That he was just living in the one room on the, on the left hand side. Mr. Blackman lives here with his daughter and also his granddaughter. So the three of them in, in the single room, it's uh, quite a squeeze. And over the previous two weeks, then we built the, the rest of the house here. Today we're going to be putting on the roof, putting in the windows and the door, and then having a good clean up. So with our team here, then we've hopefully been a real blessing to him and to Freddie and Max, the builders as well. But we've been able to kind of have uh, good conversations with them about Jesus and kind of why we're doing this. On the site of a Christian retreat camp, our crew members have been chopping trees and clearing a field. Because the pandemic affected their business, the owners of the camp had difficulty maintaining the grounds. Our crew had the privilege to help out over the period of two weeks. We're clearing, gathering in piles, and so we're excited. Last day of our work here. Despite the distancing challenges in the world right now, our time here in St. Vincent and Grenadines has given opportunities for our volunteers to share their faith in Christ. We know that as we serve faithfully, however we can, God will do the rest. We also had uh, a lot of opportunities to meet people here from the neighborhood. One of the ladies was Grace 
and she told us that she's really interested in reading the Bible, but because she can't see so well, she needs a Bible with really big letters. And guess what? We are a bookship, so uh, we organized a big um, Bible with big letters, and we will bring it to her now. I could see without my glasses, as they are. <laughs> Large! I'm so glad, I'm so glad I get it to take the church. Thank you for your continued support of Logos Hope. We're still in action. Pick us up in the next Caribbean port. Curacao!